just want to say you don't have to be a hardcore minimalist to want to be a minimalist mom. 20 minimalist baby registry items that you will actually use. So when I was pregnant with my daughter, it, it was 2019 and early 2020, pre-pandemic, I was doing a ton of research because what really overwhelmed me about starting a family, becoming a mom, was the idea of like all the junk that came with babies. I just pictured our living room having this corner, really more than the corner, like the whole room, lined with like plastic, brightly colored, junky toys and big round walkers and stuff on wheels, stuff that I would kick and trip over, stuff with blinky lights and like really high pitched, annoying recorded voices and like all the obnoxious baby stuff that kind of makes my head explode. Everything on this list is durable enough to last you through multiple kids if you are going to grow your family in the future or durable enough that you can pass on, you can let go, you can pass on and bless to another family or you can resell it when you're done using it because it will be in really good condition. I present to you 20 minimalist baby registry items that you will actually use. Number one, Montessori silverware. So if you're familiar with Montessori, it's a very child-led experience. I think Maria Montessori is quoted as saying, do nothing for the child that they can do for themselves. So Montessori silverware is made of sterling silver, no, it's not made of sterling silver. This is not a silver spoon in the mouth situation. Stainless steel, just like the silverware that you use at home, can last through a bazillion washes, can be disinfected. It's not made of plastic. It won't leach weird materials. It's not gonna scratch like plastic does. It's not gonna smell funky in the dishwasher like plastic does. It's gonna hold up for a long time. Number two, a bamboo plate. This was gifted to me by my best friend who happens to be a Montessori teacher. The bottom of it has the silicone suction cup, which is genius because kids, when they're really young, they like to throw their food. That's fine, you know, that's gonna happen, but they also wanna throw their plate. But the silicone suction cup thingy keeps it suctioned down to the tray or to the table. So they can't just toss their whole plate of beautiful organic food that you just made for them all over the place. Number three. A silicone cup with a straw. So again, just avoiding plastics. It's teeny tiny. I think it's four ounces or maybe six ounces. It fits perfectly in a little toddler hand or two little toddler hands. So the lid pops off and it's a perfect little size cup for an open cup practice. So when babies are learning how to drink from an open cup. Number four, the Ikea high chair. If you look around Instagram, you'll find all kinds of fancy influencers with big beautiful houses and expensive baby gear, but you'll often find them still using this Ikea high chair. I think it's like $20 or so. It's so easy to clean. It's very safe. It has wide feet. It's easy to get your kid in and out of. There aren't cushions with seams that hold like the crumbs and like liquids and stuff gets in there and you just like cannot get it out. This high chair, you can pop the tray off. You can put it in your sink, wash it off. Take the whole thing outside, you can hose it down, whatever. Number five, gender neutral car seat. So we didn't find out the sex of our baby uh, when we were pregnant, we wanted to, to be surprised. And this was somewhat a tiny bit strategic, if I'm being honest, because we didn't want to get a lot of pink stuff or blue stuff. We didn't know how many children, we still don't know how many children we want to have. And we wanted to be able to reuse our baby gear. Number six, a minimalist Crib. This crib that we have here is also from Ikea. It's beautiful. It's made of beech wood or birch wood, beech I think. So it's just like a light colored wood. It's unfinished, doesn't even have a shiny lacquer on it. So it's just, it feels really good and smooth. I like the aesthetic of it, like the light Scandinavian look to it. It's, it's held up great, so it's easy to be used for multiple kids. And it also changes into a toddler bed. So the front rail can come down, it comes with another piece that goes across the front and it can turn into your baby's first non-crib bed. Okay, the next item is a crib mattress. So if this is your first kid, you might not know that you have to buy the mattress separately from the crib. They're not sold together. They're made from lots of different materials. Some are potentially more healthy or more sustainable. So do your research and figure out what you feel good about. The next one, cloth diapers. We did cloth diaper our kid. I'm gonna have a separate video all about this because there's a whole world of modern cloth diapering out there. You, If you are not interested in cloth diapering or you think that you're not interested in it, just do a little bit of research because you would be amazed at how simple and easy it is to cloth diaper these days and how inexpensive it can be. It saves so much money every year. 
not to mention it also saves a ton of trash out of the landfill. One crib sheet. We only own one crib sheet. We have a two and a half year old. We've only ever owned one crib sheet. One crib sheet is all we've ever needed. We wash it like maybe once a week or whenever we're throwing our sheets in, we'll just toss hers in and that's it. One set of changing pads. So this is an item where you will need more than one individual changing pad, but don't get the disposable ones because they just end up in the landfill. Get the ones that you can launder, you throw them in with the rest of baby's laundry and it's no big deal. Baby nail clippers. These are the ones that we have. We still use them today. We use them multiple times a week. So here's the deal. It might feel like one of those items like, oh, we have nail clippers. We'll just use ours for the baby. The babies have the tiniest tiniest nails. So baby nail clippers have this safety mechanism on them that you can literally just like trim their nail and you can't catch their skin. It's almost impossible. It'll make trimming baby's nails and toenails way less stressful. A diaper bag, but you only need one. Get one that you and your spouse both like. Maybe get like a cute Herschel backpack like this one. Then you don't have to have two sets of everything in the bag or you don't have to transfer stuff over. You just have one diaper bag and you just grab it. Whoever's taking the kid can just take the bag and go. A stroller. So every day walks around the neighborhood, throw it in the car, go to the park, whatever. I'm so grateful that we have a stroller. Do your research and find one that works for your lifestyle. So maybe you need one that collapses down really small because you live in a small space, or maybe you want one that can hold two kids because you plan on growing your family. Just make sure that the one that you choose is durable, that it will last you several years and potentially several kids. A baby safe bathtub, especially when they're young and they can't even sit up on their own. You need really a safe place to keep them. This is an item that you can either register for and reuse multiple times or just find a friend who's already had a kid and maybe just borrow their tub for a few months. But this is definitely an item that you will need. A good baby carrier. So one of the most wonderful things about little babies is that they're so snuggly and they love to be worn. They love to be carried, but it can be really hard on your back. And if you're trying to do anything else at the same time, cook, work, whatever clean like whatever you have to do just live your life deal with other children whatever you're doing it's really helpful to have a carrier so that your baby can be snuggly and safe on you and you can be hands-free a thermometer here's the one that we have you will take baby's temperature all the time especially in the first couple of weeks a care provider will probably ask you to take baby's temperature just to monitor to make sure everything's good a camera for the nursery so we were originally not anti-monitor, but we thought, oh, like maybe we can skip the monitor. We, we didn't have them growing up, but we quickly realized we liked the comfort of just being able to open up our phone and peek and see, like, oh, baby's sleeping, or you know, she's lying on her back. We've never bought a fancy monitor system. We literally just have like a little individual webcam. Here's the one that we have from Amazon. It runs off the of Wi-Fi. Um, it is password protected, but again, it doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't need to be expensive. A simple potty. We use this little baby Bjorn one. Here's a picture of it. It's small enough that our daughter could sit on it when she was really young. So you can imagine like a little baby when they are just learning how to walk. When they sit down, like they're not very far off the ground. So even some of the bigger toddler potties would have been too big for her or the ones with flushers or cushioned seats or anything complicated like that. This little tiny simple potty really does the trick. You can use it for all your kids and it's plastic. So it's really easy to wash, to wipe clean, to disinfect, whatever. It looks just as good as the day we bought it and you can totally use it for more kids. A very simple sound machine. Here's the one that we have. It has a handful of different sounds on it, but we have always used the same sound. We took a liking to the rain, like the thunderstorm sound, probably two weeks in, like when our kid was two weeks old, and we have been using that same sound every single night. A sound machine can really do wonders when you're trying to create a consistent sleeping environment for them, especially if you're traveling or if you're sleeping somewhere um, outside of the home. It's just that extra layer of familiarity that helps your child to lull off to sleep.